different video than what I've been uploading lately. Actually, all I've been uploading is vlogs from when I was in America. But I wanted to make this video because I have a big announcement. I am going on another adventure. I just got back from spending five months in America. I studied there for four months and then I went traveling for one month. And if you haven't seen those vlogs, go check them out. But right now I am heading towards a new adventure, which is me traveling to Southeast Asia with my best friend for three months. And I'm so, 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 so excited. That's why I wanted to make this video to announce it. And I also wanted to make this video because I always feel like when you're traveling, you get so excited to leave and stuff, but the excitement beforehand and the packing your bags and just gathering all your stuff and figuring out what you want to bring is also a big part of the journey. And I thought it might be helpful for anyone who is wondering what they should bring on a trip like this. I couldn't really find any YouTube videos about this, about what you should pack in your backpack when you're traveling for three months. So I decided to make my own video. And I'm not saying I'm an expert at this, this is my first time, so keep that in mind. If you have any tips or like suggestions, be sure to let me know because I definitely need them, I guess. Um, my backpack isn't that big and I feel like I have so much stuff. I hope it's all gonna fit, but this is what I've gathered so far. Um, these are what I feel like are my essentials that I need literally need every single day so I wouldn't be able to leave anything behind so I have to get them to fit in my backpack so this is my backpack it's pretty small I feel like I don't know I haven't really seen that many backpacks in real life but yeah it's all like loose because I'm having it like air a little bit but it's 55 liters and my parents went to India with this backpack so it's pretty old but it's still very very sturdy and I hope I can fit everything in it. If you want to see what I'm packing for my trip to Southeast Asia then keep on watching. Okay so let's start with clothing. I didn't want to bring too much. I packed like the minimal amount of clothes I think I will need. I mean, I have to do laundry anyway, so this is what I'm bringing when it comes to clothing. I really didn't want to bring anything fancy. I just brought like minimal basic stuff that will fit me right, that will be comfortable, that will be airy because it will be very hot out there. So that's what I have been gathering from my closet and this is what it turned out to be. So I have this pile of tops. They're really like small tops so they're like I think I'm bringing like 10 tops in total which should be fine because I think I'm gonna do laundry like every week or so I hope. Um, so yeah I should be good for a week on um, tops. Then I have only two shorts because I do not find cute and comfortable shorts very easily so I only have two that I would really wear I guess um, I have more shorts but I know if I bring these two and then I bring more I'm not gonna wear the other ones because these are so comfortable this one's from ASOS it's really cute it has like crocheting on the bottom and the other one is also from ASOS which I showed and it has really cute Palms on the bottom. It's really old, but it's really, really comfortable. It's really, really comfortable. 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 Whatever. Next, I am bringing two jumpsuits because I feel like they're just so easy. They're like one piece, so you can just chuck them on and you have like a whole outfit ready. So that's really cool. So that's the first one, and then this is the second one. It's really cute. It has like. Um, Really cute bottom. I'm also bringing one fancy dress because what I've heard from people who went to uh, Southeast Asia, they brought like fancy stuff and they didn't really wear it because no one wears it. But I feel like if I want to go out for like one night or like go for a cocktail or something and you want to dress up a little bit, it's nice to have at least one thing to wear. So I'm bringing this dress, it's from Urban Outfitters. I bought it when I was in Los Angeles and it's super cute and airy and light and just perfect. Then I'm also bringing a sweater because 
It's gonna be cold on the airplane and I feel like maybe at night when you go into like a night bus or a night train they have the aircon on really high. This will be perfect to yeah, stay warm. I am also bringing one pair of their workout leggings but they're long. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I should bring any long pants but I was like just like with this weather, if it gets cold in a bus or a train or like on the airport, then I can chuck something on that will keep me warm and these are super super comfortable. I'm also bringing, obviously, bikinis. I have two bikinis, these are all from ASOS and I have one bathing suit which is more appropriate if we go like do any water activities. This will cover me up a little bit better than a bikini will. So nothing will fall out. Okay, so when it comes to shoes, I have decided on three pairs. Um, actually one and a half. I don't really count uh, flip-flops as shoes, but they are definitely necessary because if I'm staying in a nasty hostel or something and I need to shower, these are like lifesavers. I'm bringing a pair of leather sandals. These are like the Birkenstocks, but fake ones. They're from American Eagle Outfitters and they are so comfortable. Then I'm bringing one pair of sneakers. Okay, so I'm really into makeup and some people might argue that I'm bringing way too much makeup and beauty stuff, but these are like things I cannot live without. I have three bags. The first one is actual makeup. This is like gel eyeliner. I Anastasia Dip Brow Compact Powder, I have one highlighter, I have a BB cream, this one is from Maybelline and it has SPF 30 in it so my face won't get burned. I have one eyeshadow palette because eyeshadow is kind of like my thing and it wouldn't feel right if I didn't bring at least one palette so I'm bringing my favorite one, it's from Makeup Revolution. I'm also bringing one compact which has like a bronzer and a blush all in one. That's really convenient. And then I'm bringing waterproof mascara. It's from Essence Concealer. This is the Fit Me by Maybelline. And I'm bringing my NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel because eyebrows are life and I need this in my life for sure. Okay, the next bag. This one contains all my daily skincare and makeup wipes and stuff like that. I have my deodorant in here. I have some cotton buds. Obviously I'm bringing more, but yeah, I didn't wanna, I don't know, cotton buds. I have toothpaste. I have my micellar water and my toothbrush, obviously. I have this moisturizer because moisturizer is life and I could not live without it. And obviously my pill strip. And then the last bag is full of shower stuff. So this one contains a body lotion, shampoo, conditioner, a body wash, a hairbrush, some shaving cream and some razor blades. And then I'm bringing my um, L'Oreal Magic Oil, which is like a lifesaver if you have frizzy hair. I love it. It's gonna be very humid out there, so this is definitely gonna be my go to every single day, put in my hair stuff. And last up is my gear. This is like, I don't really call it gear, it's not like I'm going to do any real adventurous stuff and I'm bringing like ropes and stuff like that, but this is, I feel like these are all thingies that are really necessary for survival out there. Things like duct tape. I got a tip from a girl who went last year and she went for six months and she said that duct tape was definitely a good idea if you want to tape something shut or if you want to hang something up. If something breaks you can always put duct tape on it. Then I have one thermometer. This is for like um, seeing if you have a fever or something like that which can be really helpful out there. I have this little kit thingy which contains like um, a tweezer and uh, nail clippers and stuff like that. It's all really handy together. I have a sleeping mask, which I haven't unpacked yet, but um, yeah, it's gonna be really helpful for when I'm sleeping in hostels and stuff. Also bringing earbuds, but I haven't bought those yet, so yeah. 
This is all like camera equipment. This is to blow out any dust from your lens. This is a cloth to wipe off your lens and I have a lens pen also. Then I have a pocket knife which is gonna be so helpful. It has like little corkscrew and knives and like little different kind of things which is gonna be very very helpful I'm sure. And then I'm bringing my GoPro. I bought, oh, it's not a GoPro, it's a Sony. Um, GoPro is such an easy word to like describe action cams, but it's just a Sony action cam. It's the HDR AS50. I bought it like a week ago or something and I love it. And it's gonna be so nice to film on the water or like any water related stuff because I'm not gonna bring out my good camera for that. This is gonna be that's pretty much all I'm bringing to my trip for Southeast Asia for three months and I hope I can fit everything in the backpack although now that I'm looking at it oh by the way I have like a pile of um, towels over here this doesn't really belong with gear I guess but um, towels bring my old towels because you don't know if there are any towels at hostel and if they are clean and stuff like that so I'm bringing my own just to be safe and now that I'm looking at my whole entire pile in front of me I'm like this is gonna fit I feel like yeah I did good especially with clothing I'm bringing so little because I feel like when you're there you don't really care what you look like anymore and then you can say the same about beauty products, but I feel like personal hygiene goes above like how you dress and stuff. I don't know. So yeah, that's all I am bringing on my trip to Southeast Asia. I'm going for three months with my best friend and we are leaving in September. So stay tuned for all the vlogs that will be coming up um, around that time. We are traveling to Thailand, Singapore. Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. It's gonna be really really excited. We're flying on September 13th So stay tuned for all the vlogs which are coming from then on and if you are excited Then make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can follow everything that I'm doing out there and stay updated when I upload new vlogs and Yeah, thank you guys for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Bye guys With someone you are